I'm about to uh, demonstrate how to perform the parallel parking from the driver's side. It's important to have the mirrors adjusted properly before we perform that procedure. And it's important to have in mind that we are allowed for CDL test purpose two uh, pull-ups and two get out and looks. And I would advise, especially with the additional stress, when you are uh, examined at the DMV or DDS as we call it in Georgia, use your free get out and look. It's always better, it gives you an opportunity, an opportunity to confirm that you are performing the skill properly. So what I'm doing in this case, I have to keep in mind the length of the bus is 40 feet and in this particular case over here for their parallel parking only the length of the box that i need to fit the vehicle in is 55 feet so 15 feet longer than the length of the vehicle itself it's good to know because uh, if i get in the box and the cones the front cones are very far away from these cross view mirrors that tells me that I'm probably about to hit the cone in the back of the box and that is, that is not good. We, want, we don't want to bring the vehicle that far. So I start positioning the vehicle to where my rear wheel on my side is very close to the cone. There is, there is no perfect recipe. The best recipe is to practice over and over a little bit as if you were uh, at a fire range with a firearm. If you practice with a firearm, you might have a grouping that is off the target some, somehow, and your instructor will probably advise that you readjust the way you uh, fire, you, you know, you, you, you shoot to where your grouping is straight in the middle of that target. So that is the same that we do here. You know, I start with my rear wheel close to that cone. Some other people might want to be a bit further from the cone. The best way to find out what works with you is to practice. So in my case, I start with the wheel close to the cone. I do a hard left with the steering wheel and then I start backing up. My back wheel is now behind that first cone and I start straightening my wheel. So I go further in the box. I don't go too far in that box. I don't want to hit, that's a wall over there. So I don't want to hit it. So I start a hard ride, but I go easy because I, wanna, I want those front cones to clear. I don't want to hit them. I use my cross view mirrors and my service window, my uh, driver window to make sure that I clear and I can see in my cross view mirror that I just cleared that cone without hitting the cone and now I know that I fit completely in that box I'm pretty sure I did a good job but I use my get out and look to observe my vehicle. So if I did anything that is not quite right, it's time to find out. And I look and everything seems fine. I am inside that box. If I had pulled the beat, the, backed up the, the bus too much and the, tipped a little bit the cone without knocking it off, the examiner might take a couple, a couple of points off, but I, I still pass. If it's all the way 
to the ground like this, too bad, I fell. So, for that reason, that's why I advise, do not go bring the bus so far away from your trust view mirrors to where, you know, you paint yourself in the corner. So in this case, what I do, I did a good job. I go back inside the bus. I, you know, blow the horn and I wait for the examiner to give me further instructions. All right.